This is for my people who say they are struggle, struggling to read the instructions for this Roth IRA assignment. So I'm just going to work through my instructions. I'm probably going to change a few things, but starts like this part one I tell you just copy exactly this into your document so age start invest total all right age start invest total then underneath of those 20 0 leave it blank equals b2 plus c2 so age 20 start with zero dollars we don't know what we're investing yet and our total is uh, equals b2 which is that box right there under start plus c2 which is the box under invest all right now right now that formula is giving me zero uh, you can see up here the formula but the value of the formula is zero because we're doing zero plus nothing is zero. Okay. Next row down. Some more formulas. Equals A2 plus one. So add one to my age. Equals A2 plus one. Again, you can see the formula up here. But the value of the formula is 20 plus 1 is 21. Uh, this one is going to be equals D2 times 1.07 equals D2 times 1.07. Now that's what you're going to type. That's going to take your total and it's going to add 7% interest to it. I am going to change this to a 6 only because... I don't want my video to be exactly like what yours does so I'll mimic 6% interest and then your numbers will grow a little bit faster than my numbers okay right now still we're at zero because we multiplied something by zero all right inbox C2 put your answer to number two above number two was fifteen dollars per day is how much per year now you can do your own calculation for that and get the actual amount in there I'm gonna put six thousand as my investment yours will be a little bit lower than six thousand all right notice that these values changed I'm still I have a formula that's the magic of using a formula instead of doing the math yourself let the program do the math for you and it's saying add these together so if I change this to 5,000 they will change again based on this okay um, the next step is I tell you to copy these two boxes right using hold down the shift key highlight both boxes by holding down the shift key shift and an arrow all right so you shift and press an arrow and you're going to copy by either using control C or edit copy and then control V or edit paste control V all right notice this number is different from this number and again this this copying process allows my formulas to adjust as I go down a page so this first formula up here says b2 plus c2 and that's basically saying add the two boxes that are next to me as I go down the page this one says b3 plus c3 add the two boxes that are next to me that's how spreadsheets work is why they're powerful um, so anyway that's that's part one Right, part one is finished okay there's some more questions on that page we move on to part two though part two says use the shift and arrows to highlight all of the boxes in the third row copy those paste those so 
holding down shift, pressing the arrow, I've highlighted them all, control C, copies, you should see that appear, control V, pastes. All right, 22 years old, start, invest total. At some point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press control V again. All right, 23. Now, I'm starting to run out of, out of space in my boxes. I'm going to make my boxes a little bit wider. It's because I changed the font and made it bigger. Um, at some point, though, you start getting decimals that don't make that much sense with money. We can come up here, click on this column. I'm going to press this money button, change it to money, and it kind of changes everything to money. Okay, so what is happening right here is this person is investing $6,000 each year into an account, and that account is growing by 6% annually. All right, so the first year I put 6000 in, that's all I have. The second year, I earn a little bit of interest, 6% interest, plus I put another 6000 in. So now I've got a little bit more than 12000 I kind of made $360 just letting my money sit there. That's almost a dollar a day. Is it 6% interest? It's a nice rate. Okay? Now, instructions say we're going to copy all the way until we get down to age 60 all right now trick copy you can highlight more than one row to paste into all right you don't have to go one at a time so we're already at age 31 I'm gonna come down uh, paste some more 10 more rows Okay, age 60. Now I'm almost at a million dollars. You actually will be over a million dollars in your age 60 because you have your interest growing at 7% instead of 6%. All right, that is the end of part two. A couple more questions go with that. All right. Part three, I ask you to make another sheet, All right? I ask you to come down to the bottom of your sheet. So let me move this up a little bit. Come all the way to the bottom where it says sheet one, and I ask you to click on that arrow and say duplicate. So you're going to have another sheet down here that has all the same information as your first sheet. All right, make these columns a little skinnier again. And what I want you to do is, is make a comparison. I'm gonna copy all this information. We're gonna compare two people side by side. So copy everything. I'm gonna come over here, paste everything. So right now we have identical information side by side. But then what I ask you to do is to take one of your two people and make them wait before they start investing. So change, they're not going to invest at age 20, they're not going to invest at age 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, they're going to start investing at age 30. All right, so it's going to take them a little bit of time to catch up to the other person. And then for the second person, I want them to invest starting at age 20 and go all the way till 30. And then maybe something happens in their life and they stop, right? They lose a job, they yeah, get a demotion, they can't put money aside anymore, or maybe they just feel like they already have enough. So. So I change this to a zero, all these numbers to zero, all the way down a page. All right, I could copy this zero, paste it down a page. I'm almost there anyway. All right, so the first person waits until they're 30 before they start investing, and the second person stops at age 30. And then I want you to go down to the bottom of the page, 
look at the numbers and see if there's anything that surprises you. So my person on the on the left, this guy, he was a waiter. He waited, <laughs> not like tables. He waited. He didn't start investing until he was uh, in his 30s. And my second person started fresh out of fresh on the first job started investing six thousand a year right I can tell you the answers that I'm looking for look at this this is crazy at the end of 60 years the guy who waited the guy who waited 10 years does not have as much money as the guy that only invested for the first 10 years this guy on the on the left never catches up. Look how many more six thousands he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty. Okay, he puts six thousand dollars in straight for thirty years. This guy only puts six thousand in for eleven years, and yet he ends up with more money. And I told you guys in class, this is this is why I want you to think about this idea of investing when you're young, because the earlier you start, the more time there is for your money to grow, right? Even though he stopped putting his own money in, he's still earning interest on it, All right? And the reason that the other person never catches up is if you look at this, uh, he's getting more than six thousand dollars in interest. His money's growing by more than six thousand dollars every year, even though he's not contributing more to it. Now, of course, neither one of them is as good as the first guy who invested all the way through. Right? He's the one that gets uh, almost two million dollars, and and if it's seven percent interest for your guys, he will get two million dollars. All right. So that's that's the part. Uh, three and then lastly part four I want you to look at why oh, why does this matter why I put money aside at all what is the point right if I'm why don't I just spend my money um, and the thing is you're not gonna be young and energetic forever there's gonna come a time when you wish as <laughs> some of y'all some of y'all already wish you didn't have a job uh, you haven't even really had a real job yet I promise you school is easy easier even than than whatever job whatever level job you get uh, all you got those follow simple directions in school but there's there's gonna come a time when you want to be done with work uh, you want to retire right how do people in retirement live the government does pay a little bit of money out to the elderly but it's not a lot it's not it's not enough to make a, a really decent living on um so look at this why a million dollars matters all right i ask you to go back to the first guy and i ask you to start taking eighty thousand dollars out of the account so we're we're pretending we take out eighty thousand dollars every year now i think i'm going to take out seventy thousand with my guy so this age 61 because uh like i told you my guy didn't actually get to a million so he might not be able to take out as much as your guy but uh, instead of putting six thousand in i'm taking seventy thousand out uh it looks like i i might have to i might even have to downgrade that a little bit more we'll go 60 well let's see minus 60,000 all right so your your uh, your situation is gonna be a little bit different than mine okay but if you look at what's happening with this guy right here taking sixty thousand dollars out every year uh, his his money staying pretty steady okay He's not losing a lot, He's staying in that 900,000 range, even though 
taking out sixty thousand. That's that's five thousand dollars a month, um, plus whatever check he gets from the government. So this is this is a this is a decent living, right? Your guy with the seven percent interest is going to be able to take eighty thousand dollars out, and his money's going to keep growing. My guy's money's going down because he uh, he didn't uh, he didn't make as much as yours. But point of the matter is, if you have this money set aside, there will come a point where you can start living just on that. You don't have to work anymore. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do anything that you that you don't want to do just pull the money out and if you if you have your wealth up to a certain point this is the this is the other thing uh, that will matter to some of you you still end up with a big amount to leave to your your children uh, after you pass and they don't have to start this process from scratch right like this is how this is how dynasties begin. This is how you end up having, um, you know, families with money, uh, starting with money. So anyway, that's the Roth IRA assignment. Hope it helps you get it finished if it hasn't been finished yet.